Hello, a couple of my subscribers asked about the modifications I did to my rear storage area. And this is basically what it looked like when it came from the factory. There's this board right here, but there's a lot of wasted space behind it. And the board, it pops off like that. There's these, these uh, brackets right here that pop in to the little mounts right here, little spring things. And there was there was two of these. There was one here and there was one over there. I took them took the one off and I made a, sh a board shaped like this. It's got a, 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 a zigzag in it. I guess you might call it for no other better name. And what it does, it goes right in here like this. It goes up flat against my battery. This is the battery back here, and this is the inverter. Let me show you that one more time real quick. Since I got this out, I can show you what's back here. I'm coming closer. Uh huh. Okay, this is the inverter, 3000 watt inverter. This is the lithium battery package. And over here are the low point drain valves for the fresh, uh, uh, for the, for the uh, hot and cold water. Your antifreeze siphon pickup tube. And back up there is the water pump. You can see up inside there is a... Pentair. See that water pump back there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the water pump. So what this does is it opens up this much space. When you have a Class B, storage is a premium. So I figured that would help a lot. Then I also had a... One of my subscribers wanted to know about the measurements back here. So... I'll show you the rest of it in a minute, but I want to just take some quick measurements to show. Basically, from here to the door panel, from here, to, from back here to here, is 24 inches. That's at the on the floor. To the from the metal rod here, the upright to the door panel is basically it's 14 inches. At the very top of the sofa up, it's eight inches from here to here, eight inches. And he also wanted to know the width of these bed posts right here, or these frames. That's 56 inches. 56 inches there. And then from here, from the floor to there, it's uh 14 and three quarter inches so there we go that's the the space you have to work with my next modification was I wanted a shelf to put in there so I cut a piece of wood and I made two uprights on the uprights they fit in here just like this I had to notch this one because of this this problem seatbelt bar, bar right here but basically it's just a piece of one by ten I think it is and I screwed this board onto it right here put a little bit of glue on it and this is the upright I made one for this side and I made one for this side over here and when I originally made it I put it all together outside of the van and I couldn't put it in the van once it was assembled because you don't have the room to maneuver it. So I took it all apart, but first I, um, I had, had the idea of how to make it where I could take it apart easy and put it back together. So while it was still screwed together on the outside, I took a drill and I drilled two holes in each side and I put dowels in there. So then I took it apart I stuck it inside here like this, and now I can put it together like this. Like that. And it gives me a shelf. But when it was all screwed together, you can't take it out because you can't flip it out, you can't turn it this way. So you have to you have to do it this way so that you assemble it in there. And uh, this worked out pretty good. So now it gives me a space. I like to carry a few of these just in case. 
and I put one down here. I put one over here, and then I have room. Just like that. I'm debating on taking these seat belts out. I probably am. Because um, they're just kind of annoying. But occasionally we have to use them. I usually have them all balled up like this with tie wraps. But we had to use them on our last trip, so I had to cut the tie wraps off. So they look sloppy again. So I have that and some of my storage. I have a my black water black my black tank flood hose. Some little tools. My sewer hose. Uh, that all fits there. And then I throw a few other things back there. Got this from for Deb. She likes to split firewood. But it's not really good for splitting firewood. It's actually a speed hawk for throwing but uh it comes in handy we, we have some split some kindling with it throw that back there my water filter but that's the uh, back setup and basically uh, that gives me this much storage space I can put my my lawn chairs back there and a few other things uh, I keep my I keep my dog bones up here for for the electrical system this is a uh, one I just picked up. It's a 15 amp to a 30 amp. It's pretty nice. Got that? I got my shower hose up there. So that's basically my setup for the back of the van. And if you got any questions, just uh, leave me a message in the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And maybe we'll see each other on the road someday. Bye. There we go. That's how you do it. Here she goes again. Oh, look at her. She's deadly with that speed hawk. <laughs>